Hi guys, my name is Chelsea and I wanted to share with you today my infertility story. My husband and I posted a video on his channel, um, but it's a pretty brief summary of what we've been going through the past few years. So I wanted to jump on today and just give a little bit more info, a little more detail, just in case it helps somebody who is kind of in the same situation as us. Since posting that video, I realized that infertility is a lot more common than I thought, and so I, I just figured um, I'd post this and maybe it'll help somebody, and maybe it'll be a way for me to connect with more people. So I'll just start from the beginning. My husband and I were married in 2009, and we were juniors in college, and weren't really planning on having kids anytime soon. We were focused on school and starting our careers and just life together. We wanted to have adventures together before we had kids. So we kind of put it off and thought, oh, maybe when I'm like 25, I was married when I was 21. So four or five years down the road, then we'll have, we'll start trying for a family. Um, so we pretty much did everything we could to <laughs> prevent getting pregnant and I think we maybe had like one or two scares but like pregnancy scares but honestly like we were pretty careful and um, it wasn't till I was with a group of our friends at a friend friend's wedding and we decided we were just talking about the future and life and growing up and we decided okay we gotta we were all in the same boat so we were all married a few years, no kids, and terrified of the idea of having kids. So um, we decided, okay, let's let's make a pact that by the end of, I think it was 2014, by the end of 2014, um, we have to be like actively trying for a family because we wanted to have kids around the same time and we weren't really sure how long it would take for us all to get pregnant. So we wanted to be like, that was the goal. Like you have to at least be trying <laughs> by the end of, 2014. So, um, yeah, I never really thought that it would be hard to get pregnant. My cycle was always, always regular and consistent, and I never had any issues. And I didn't suspect that Eric would have any issues either. So I figured it's going to be easy peasy. We'll probably get pregnant the first month, maybe. Might take a couple months. Um, so it was January 2014 that I started to be like more open the idea of if we were to get pregnant now it wouldn't be a big deal we would be fine it would be cool but it wasn't until we that April we'd been married five years and I was like oh okay I think we should start trying so during the summer at that following summer we decided to like actively try so um, the first month we didn't get pregnant and I was sort of like hmm, that's weird like I really thought that we would get pregnant right off the bat, but okay. So then it took another month, and another month, and then my friend got pregnant, and it was just like month after month, more and more of my friends were getting pregnant, and I wasn't, and I was starting to feel a little left out, and a little frustrated mostly with my body, like what is going on? So after like maybe three or four months, I went to my OBGYN just to have a regular checkup and talk to her about um, getting pregnant, and she basically just told me, you look great, everything seems fine, so just keep trying, and if you're not pregnant after a year, then come and talk to me. So we did just that. We just kept trying and trying, and then a year later, I called my OBGYN, made an appointment, and went in f to start fertility testing. So they started with blood tests, um, and those were all coming back normal, then we started or then we did the HSG test, which is where they insert dye into your uh, fallopian tubes to see if the um, tubes will drain, which means they're open. So they did that test, and when I was watching them do that test, which if you want me to talk more about that in another video, I can, because it was kind of an experience. But um, during the HSG test, you there's like a screen so you can see what's going on. You can see the dye go through and you can see your uterus and your, you know, tubes and stuff. So I'm watching this happen and as I'm watching it, I'm noticing that my uterus is 
way over my like shifted to the left and when we were done with the test um, I asked the radiologist or whoever was doing, giving me the test I asked him like why like what he thought about that and he said yeah it looks like you could have some tilting issues but I'll let your doctor talk to you about that so I was like okay I guess he just couldn't give me any sort of diagnosis or whatever because he's not my doctor but Anyway, so my doctor called me probably a couple days after that and told me that my test results had come back and everything looked great. I was good to go with HSG, done, you're good. Um, and so I mentioned to her, I said, so what about where my uterus is sitting? It's really far shifted to the left. And she was like, oh no, that didn't come, like that's not a problem, not a big deal. Um, you know, like that just didn't phase them so I was like okay just trusting that they knew what they were doing so um, then because I still wasn't getting pregnant they decided to prescribe me Clomid which I was not keen on taking Clomid but um, I figured I'd do what it would take and just suck it up and um, just take it I wasn't keen on it because I I don't like just going for a drug right away. I want to know the problem first. But um, I also had done research on Clomid and I knew that it's for people that are not ovulating and I was ovulating and I knew I was because I would take those predictor kits. So I did a month of Clomid and it was, I had really bad like cramping and stuff when I would take it. I hated it so bad. So I decided um, I wasn't going to take it the next month. So, uh, after that, I was just a little frustrated with my OBGYN and was thinking of moving on to a fertility clinic, but um, I don't know, we just kind of just in a rut of what to do. So I had to go see another doctor for um, just a regular physical for insurance purposes. And this was a doctor that was specifically assigned to me and I really wanted to go see him because he's more of a, like a natural minded doctor uh, but he is an MD so I went and saw him I talked to him we spent an hour or more with him and just talked to him all about like our different health goals and one of them was to get pregnant and he suggested that we try Clomid and so since he was suggesting it to me I trusted that he had a good perspective on the topic and um, because he's more naturally minded, he wasn't too concerned about the like the side effects. So we decided to do two more months of Clomid. I think we wanted to do three actually, but I can't remember if I did two or three. But anyway, so I did Clomid without any success and just more symptoms. So um, at this point, I was just sort of frustrated and um, like, I mean... <laughs> I've been frustrated this whole time, but anyway, so um, that family doctor, he told, he recommended that we just go to a fertility clinic, and so that's what we did. We called um, our fertility, the, we did a little research um, and just figured we'd go to this particular fertility clinic because they seemed like the most popular, I guess, um, and so we went to them. And, um, and they're really close by our house too, so that's nice. So um, we scheduled an appointment with them and had a consultation with them, and it was really great. Like, I love that doctor. I love him so much. He sat us down and talked to us for like 45 minutes, which is something that I feel like the OBGYN never had time for. It's like, I don't even think I ever really even talked to her. It was always an assistant of hers, like a nurse that I talked to, not the actual OBGYN. So he sat us down and talked to us about basically all it takes to get pregnant and went over this list and like looked at our test results and was like, looks like you guys have been tested and everything's aligned so you're healthy and you should be able to get pregnant. So now I got to figure out why. So, or why you're not getting pregnant. So we, um, he talked to us about IUI. So basically artificial insemination as being a good option for us at this point. So in this consultation though I did mention that my uterus 
like the HSG test showed that my uterus was over my left hip and he seemed pretty concerned about that and he said that that's a good sign that it could be endometriosis um, meaning there's scar tissue or something pulling my uterus over to the left side and now my fallopian tube is having a hard time actually grabbing the egg so even though I am ovulating things aren't actually moving to get the egg where it needs to be so by doing IUI or artificial insemination they can put the sperm exactly where the egg would go after it's ovulated so that way it's cutting the um, amount of travel time like in half and just basically getting it where it needs to go. So um, we decided to do one IUI, one round of IUI with Femara and Femara is very similar to Clomid except I had worse symptoms with Femara, more cramping which was like I would take it at night and as soon as I would go to bed it would be like really uncomfortable and so I did not like that. I think I spent a couple of nights in bed like going to bed crying because it hurt so bad but anyway it's all worth it because you know you're doing this stuff and you're like doing it for something that could be like the greatest thing ever so um yeah so we did one round of IUI and then I was supposed to get a blood test on a Monday morning to find out if I'm pregnant or not but then that Sunday afternoon I started my period so that was really upsetting and that was in October and so it's December now and we decided to take, we were going to do an IUI in November and December and then maybe start IVF if that didn't work in January. But because IUI didn't work, I was really down and also I was going to be traveling for half the month of November. So I decided, you know, we'll skip November because we have to because we won't be able to time it right. But then we'll also skip December because I don't want to, I don't want the holidays to be associated with like all this like fertility stuff and maybe not maybe it not working so I just want to enjoy the holidays have fun and not worry about it so yeah that's where we're at right now um so we'll start IUI again in January and we'll do probably two more rounds of that and if it works then we'll be very happy obviously if it doesn't work then we move on to IVF um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can leave them in the comments below. Or um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but if I am, then I'll make another video, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.